My name is Sarah Lean and what I want to do is take you through a basic Azure Bicep template and show you how to deploy that also. Now here we have an Azure Bicep template and it's a fairly straightforward and simple Bicep template where we're going to deploy an Azure storage account to our Azure subscription. Now I want to break down the various different sections we have Within the first eight or so lines, we have parameters defined that will help us input um, information to deploy the storage account. Now, the first parameter is the Azure storage account type. And here we have defined a default value for that. And we're using standard LRS as our default value. Now, this is one of the options that you have when you're deploying a storage account. You could specify something different. And when we are deploying this, we could actually um, override that default value. However, if we didn't put anything into that parameter when we're deploying out the, te the template, then it would default to standard LRS. Now the second uh, parameter is our location one. And what we're saying here is use the location for from the resource group that we're deploying into. So this storage account will be deployed into a resource group and the location will be taken from that resource group. Now the third parameter is the storage account name. Now we haven't predefined a default value for this, so we'll have to input something into um, the deployment process to give that name. This larger section is defining the the resource that we're deploying. So we're first of all saying that we're deploying a resource and then we have a name here for it. And I've called this storage. This could be anything at all. You could label this whatever you wanted inside the template. It's literally so that you can identify it inside the template. It's nothing to do with the end result of how the resource would be deployed or named when it's inside Azure. This larger section here defines the type of resource that we're deploying. And in this case, we're deploying a storage account. And we've also got the Microsoft API that we're calling um, in reference to the date. So we're using hopefully the latest version to deploy a storage account out. This section here starts to just define taking some of those parameters that we've put in and defining them for the deployment. These are the most basic ones that you need to be able to deploy a storage account. Obviously, when you start to get into more details, this would be a larger section. And last, but by, by no means least, we have these two lines at the bottom that actually feed out some information from us or to us once we've deployed this template out. Now I've just asked for the output to be the storage account name and then the ID, the identifier of the storage account once it's deployed into Azure. But again, you can have a lot of different outputs here that you could maybe use when you are trying to pass information between one template or one deployment to another or trying other sorts of automation. I just wanted to introduce that concept of outputs to you and show you the art of the possible. Now, if we look at this template, it's 21 lines long, which is fairly simple and fairly straightforward to be able to define this resource. What I want to do is actually convert this into an Azure ARM template and show you side by side the differences and the different lengths of what a bicep template looks like in comparison to Azure ARM templates. So what we'll do here is we'll run this bit of code that says AZ bicep build, and then we reference the file that we're actually trying to convert. So if we run this command, what will happen is it will um, create us a JSON file and here we can see it here. So if we switch to this one and then do right click and open to the side, what we have here is the bicep template on the left and on the right hand side we have the arm template. Now you can see there's much more detail here but it's doing the exact same thing. It's deploying the exact same resource with the same parameters. But if we scroll down, we have 56 lines of code and you can see it's almost double or it is more than double actually um, what we had in terms of the bicep template. So again, hopefully the bicep templates are a lot simpler for you to create and also read when you're um, having a look at existing ones. So if we close that down, what we want to do is actually deploy this storage account out to our Azure subscription and have a look at what that happens to look like um, in the process of doing it. 
So here I have my PowerShell script that I can use to actually deploy out this template. So we're using the PowerShell command new AZ resource group deployment. We're giving the deployment a name, which in this case is storage deployment. We're then specifying that the resource group to deploy this template, deploy this resource into is called Sarah Bicep Demos. We're then specifying the Bicep template to actually um, deploy out and in this case it's storage.bicep and then for our um, parameter we're actually just going to specify the storage account name which is going to be Sarah storage demo so let's um, select this and run it and see what happens So the deployment has happened and we have some information out from um, our PowerShell command. So let's have a look at this. It's given us output in terms of the deployment name. So what we specified, storage deployment, it's saying the resource group that was used, it's saying that it was successfully carried out, giving us the date. Then it's showing us some of the parameters that were used, either from the default values inside the template or the ones that we specified. So we can see here, we've got that standard LRS, our resource group is in North Europe, so that was the location. And there's the input in terms of the name that we put in, Sarah Storage Demo. Now this section here is the outputs that we requested. So again, we've got the storage account name. We've also got the ID that I specified as well. Switching over to our Azure subscription, we can see inside this resource group, Sarah Bicep Demos, that we have that storage account deployed. If we have a look at deployments inside that storage, uh, inside that resource group, we can see what happened when we deployed that uh, bicep template. The deployment name is there, so we can track this inside the Azure portal. So it's called storage uh, deployment, and we can see that it deployed successfully. If you were deploying multiple resources and you were trying to deploy them in a certain order, etc., there would be a lot more detail here in terms of the deployment and how that happened. Um, but hopefully this has shown you how to take a basic Azure Bicep template and deploy it and given you an overview of the possibilities of Bicep. Good luck with your Azure Bicep templates and please do leave a comment or any questions down below. I'd be happy to answer them.